Hello, welcome to Paul Booth's Movie Podcast. It is Tuesday morning, and we're going to get into talking about one film today, so this one will be a few minutes shorter. I just rolled out of bed, and it's movie time once I wake up, and I felt like talking about, okay, this is going to be a no-holds-barred review, so if you're... You don't want to hear about crazy subject matter, or you don't want to, um, you know, you're you're not liberated, whatever, nothing against that. Everyone has their opinion, that's fine, but I'm going to just let this movie be what it is. As it says on the back here, an unforgettable and afraid of sexuality, says the New York Times. I'm talking about E2 Mama Tambien. This movie came out when I was 23. It is about two 18-year-old boys who take a 22-year-old woman on a road trip. It's this great uh, amalgam of American and Mexican cinema. It opens up with a shot of a Harold and Maude poster, which is a cult film about young and old love. Um, it's shot a lot like Easy Rider. It's a road movie. Um, it's I'm sorry, it's probably every guy's dream to t at, when you're 18 to take a 20-year-old, 20 21, 22-year-old girl on a road trip. I don't care what anyone says or who's going to look at their wife and say, no, not me. Um, this this is also a masterpiece in filmmaking because there's just so many great nuances between friends. There's great nuances about what the female is going through. The, direct, the director respects the female and the male, so it's not just like a male pig movie where, like, let's just take this woman out and, you know, that, of course, is the objective, but the director ends up staying away from that. You know, I think an American director would have kind of kept us in that genre where we're, ex you know, we know what we're expecting. This, what, this gives you what you don't expect. Um, it does have some pretty, you know, uh, if you're... If, it, if it's not your thing, some gratuitous sex scenes for what American cinema is cons considered gratuitous. Um, nothing pornographic by any means. Again, reality. This is also the director, or this is also the film that made the director, Alfonso Cuaron, who we all love and know for gravity. And it, it really interests me that everybody on the planet, what did that movie do, seven, eight hundred million dollars? Everybody on the planet would watch a movie about two people talking in space. But, I mean, E2 Mamba Tambien did win like a hundred something awards and play festivals all over the world. It only got a Best Oscar nomination. But it would be a movie where people would kind of tell you to stay away. Like, we can't talk about our teenage dreams or our young fantasies, or we can't talk about what we did or wanted to do. But if two people are floating in space, we got to tell all our friends to see it. And not in a film snob way, but that's just really funny to me. Because we're never going to be in space. We're, and if we're lost in space, no one's ever going to know about it. And so to veer away from being attracted to a woman or being attracted to a boy uh, just goes to show how much this filmmaker, especially not even being from our culture society, captured what America thinks and feels. Um, even though it's humanity, it's not just America, but Mexico doesn't care. So to make this film that is foreign yet feels so American and so hits home to what young men go through and women uh, was just really amazing. And especially if you see it at the age where, I'm not going to lie, I would have loved to have taken a woman on a road trip that was three or four years older. So... No baloney on this show. This is open movie talk. So uh, we don't have a censorship board to answer to. So it, it is a great film. Who doesn't want to spend a couple of days with a beautiful woman on a beach? I know I do. So I highly recommend. But I do warn if you are uh, a conservative movie watcher. Because um, I want you to come back to the podcast and the show. Uh, to not watch it, and it is on Netflix, so you can check it out. Um, take a look here, E2 Mama Tambien. Again, I own the unrated version. I can't really tell you how much is in the unrated version that's not in the Netflix version. But, again, check this one out. 
you don't even have to talk about what you relate to. Just have fun. Aloha.